Hi, in this video I'm going to be taking you through uh, setting up metric in Gage and just basically walking through the whole process and you can kind of see it through my eyes. Uh, the first thing you want to want to do is head on the left to engage and then you can click the get started button. Now if you have multiple stores set up with metric you'll need to do this for each store. Uh, so we're going to just start with this one demo.petlight.com.au uh, at this stage, it just wants to know what domain you want to send emails from. It doesn't have to be the same as your store's domain. Uh, so in this case, we could actually just send them from petlight.com.au instead of demo.petlight.com.au. But uh, you can really just do whatever you'd like. So we are just going to do demo.petlight.com.au. And then you're just going to be asked a few questions uh, about your engage settings. So the name of the store you want to use, which by default would be the same as your store's name, uh, the address that you need to include in the footer of most of your, of your emails. So we can just do WooCommerce Street, Java City, Australia, and you can choose a color that will be used um, just occasionally in the email templates and also on your unsubscribe page. You can just enter in a code here or you can choose one of these. And then you can upload a logo. So again, this will just show on your unsubscribe page in, in some of the email templates. It's completely optional, but if you do use those templates, you're gonna to wanna to upload one. Uh, but we'll leave that step for now. And then there are a few other settings you can go through. Uh, and this screen is always changing. So as we add more settings, you'll see them here. They may not be in the video today, but they'll be there later. Next, you can choose how you want to send emails. So basically, there are two ways. Either one, you verify your domain, and then you can send from any email on your domain. So if we verify demo.petlight.com.au, we can send from info at demo.petlight. Bryce, uh, Jarvis, anything really you can do once you've verified the domain. But if you verify a single email, you can only do um, the email that you verify. So it would actually have to have access to the email inbox of the email I'm verifying. So I need to be able to receive emails at info at demo.petlight.com.au uh, or I won't be able to verify it. But to be honest, verifying a single domain is not as good as verifying, um, well, sorry, verifying a single email is not as good as verifying the entire domain. So I normally recommend just verifying the domain. It's a bit more work, takes a little bit longer. Uh, but long term, it's much worth, much better to do. But to, to start, I'll just show you the process of verifying a single domain. Really, all you have to do is choose a name that you're going to send from and type in the email. And then after adding it, you'll get an email from us where you have to verify the, domain, the email. We'll cancel. Um, and now we're going to head back to verify your domain. So you can see there's a little bit more work involved, but it really isn't that difficult. Uh, and really the important part is actually only up here. The return path down here, which I'll get to, is important, but as long as you just do the DKIM, you'll be able to do this. So basically what you're doing here is verifying that you have control and ownership of the domain, uh, which will enable you then to send emails from it. So normally what you're gonna do is open up your uh, DNS or your domain manager or your host manager. This really just depends on how you've set it up. If you're not sure, uh, and you don't have anyone on your team you can reach out to, just send us a message on the live chat down here and we can definitely help. Uh, but really it isn't too difficult once you know where the DNS settings for your domain are set. In my case, uh, for this domain, I have it set on DigitalOcean. So I have the domain here and I can create records for it. So we're gonna do that. Uh, to start, we're gonna do DKIM. So we need to copy the host. Then over here we can see host. Uh, but the first thing you want to see is it says, please create the following unique text record. So in DigitalOcean, when we have the choice here, we're going to choose text. And then we're going to enter in the host. And then we're going to choose a the value. Copy that. Post it, paste it in here. And the TTL, you can just leave as a default. 3600 is okay. Um, it's already entered that in for me. And then I'm going to create the record. Now the process here uh, is quick, but it's not immediate. Uh, it can be, but at this point, it's going to verify, and we were fortunate here where it was uh, instant. And there might be a delay when you set it up. If it takes 5, 10, even an hour, that's okay. Um, you can just head back, but if it's still not working after a little while and you want to check, you know, just send us a message. We can check for you. We can tell you if you've set something up wrong. Um, 
it doesn't have to be a, a difficult process, uh, but it can be tricky. So just reach out if you're not sure. And the next part is verifying and setting up the return path. Uh, so you're just going to need to add a CNAME record. Uh, I haven't done that yet, so verification will fail. I'll choose the host name up here. We'll choose CNAME into that. And then the value. And copy it in here. And then create that. Now the CNAME can take a little bit longer. We'll try, verify. But no, it's going to fail. Um, this one normally will take 10, 15 minutes to process. Uh, but again, this one isn't required. It's optional. Uh, it is recommended, but if you don't set it up, it's okay. Well, if we go to engage, we're not getting prompted to set up engage, but we're getting prompted to add some emails. Uh, so I'll just add Bryce. Now this is the emails that you're actually going to send um, from, the email addresses you're going to send emails to your customers from, and you can add as many as you want now that you've verified the actual domain. Uh, and this will be updated to return path verified once that is finally verified. And really at that point, you're able to start creating automations, which I'll get to in another video. Uh, thanks for watching.